I welcome everyone in the course of Python for Reservoir Engineers. Well, in the last lecture, we discussed about the symbolic computing and we, we started the uh, library of Python which is called as the SymPy. Here you can see that before you are going to do the symbolic computing, you have to define your symbols. For example, here you define the symbol X, you define the symbol Y, you define the symbol L and the, what was the, the, the command for this sp dot function function was the command and you see that we write the f of x here then after that we start setting up the equations solving the equation simply we then write the expressions and we use the lambda command in order to simplify them then uh, we simplify we learn to simplify the equations we had this equation and it simplified it you can see here cos x and x plus 1 and x plus 2 and then we did the part and in the end we write d over dx or of x for derivation now from this step and onwards we are going to start the calculus so let's see first of all we are going to start with the derivatives how we can solve the derivatives so let's begin well the first step again uh, i assume that you don't have this one so we start from zero. first of all you have to import the symbols as it is so first of all what we will do we will first import the symbol import sympy is sp you have to define the symbol x symbol y symbol z this is the first step after that you have to yeah define the function so let's see how we can do that after that you have to define the function so here we are going to define the function and once we run it we will see that we will get I look at it it is showing some error so let's run it so it is showing it actually at error actually we imported the sympy as sp and here we are showing the direct sympy so what we have to do we have to convert this to sp directly and once now we run it so when we run it you get this answer it's symbolic computing d over dx f of x now let's see how we can solve the equations and we do the derivation of it okay let's look one more time if we have the same function now we don't need to define these functions again let's see we have f of x and x let's see you see now d square over dx square so two times so now if you want to define three times so it becomes a three times so first derivative second derivative third derivative you can just write here or how many x's you want you can write it here as the same now you want to you don't want to write x1 x2 x3 so what you need to do and you just write the number of power so you run it it shows the same so if all you want the fourth derivative here you got the fourth derivative you want the fifth derivative sixth derivative you write the sixth derivative so it gives you the answer as sixth derivative here now you want to do this uh, uh, derivation so let's see how we can do so first you have to define the function sp dot function which is the f of x you define your function once you define the function you write sp dot difference then you write your expression let's say we write the expression x power into power 4 x then plus x power cube then x plus square plus x plus and we want to do the differentiation so what you did you sp dot diff Sorry, x pr dot difference x. So now you see that it did the differentiation for you. It's very simple. Now, for example, any any value. For example, you have here x power seven. So you run it. It gives you the simple derivation derivative of this equation. And likewise, if you want to uh, run more differentiation, again you can do it. For example, you want to do the derivation. Now you have a plus x plus x. So you run it. Sorry, it's not complete. You have to write ax here dot diff with respect to x. So it gives you the answer now. It's very simple one step to do the de derivatives here now this was the first derivative 
now you want to do the second derivative of this. This was the first derivative. Now you want to do the second derivative. So how you do the second? You do the second like this one. So it gives you now the second. This is the second derivative of it. You want to do the third? You add this to third. This is the third derivative. It will give you. So that's how you do the derivations. It's very simple to find the derivative. So whatever series you have, you can do the derivation in a series for it. For it. Okay. When well, this was a very simple derivation here it had. But now let's look at a bit complicated one. So we define the function f of x f of x and uh, let's define our function we define sim pi dot sign x multiply by y sim pi dot cos x over 2 so now we have a sign and cos both and we have to take the derivative of this so we write the expression dot with respect to x sorry Simpy is not defined, we define it as by sp, not the simpy. Wait a second. You got your answer. Here we define sp. You can if you here if you remove this, you can use the word simpy here. But if you importing as sp, so you can have to write here as sp. So here you can see that how it it, it actually solved for you the derivative. So in the calculus so far what we have done first we did started with the symbolic computing then we knew how to write an expressions then we started to simplify the expressions then we will put the values to solve the expression then we started the calculus we first started with the derivatives and now we are going to start with the integration so let's see how we can do the integration for integration again the first command remains the same you have to define the function you have to define your x and y values i already defined them here as sp dot symbol but if you are starting from zero, then you have to first define those symbols and import sp, simpy with spn and so on. So after you define this function, you can, uh, like you define your sp dot here. So here you have to define, again. this is for differentiation. Now you remove this one and you write integrate. Now you see f of x dx. Before was the derivatives, now is the integrations. Same procedure you will follow to do the integration. Now we will write an expression and we will see how we can do the integration here. In an in integration, you have to write the lower and upper limits of it. So the upper and lower limits you can also define them here. So now, for example, here. Okay. Now we are starting and we have to write the a and b also. So we want to define the function first and then you sp dot integrate fx and we have to define a and b. So likewise you define the symbolics here. Yeah, we have to define here a and b also. So we, what we will do, we will define a and b. A, b. A, Remember x, y, z are already defined upstairs. Up, so we don't need to. So now you see f of x dx a over b. We define. So this this is how you can start with your integration. Now we will put an expression and we will try to solve it. You you defined it here your expression. Now you want to integrate sine x. So remember we have to use the sp since we are using sp. So run here sm5 is not defined so it's sp so minus cos x so what we did we did the integration of sin x and now it, it gives us the result of minus cos x now we want to do more which is based on the power li limits of a and b we define it here let's say now we have again as i said we have to use sp dot integrate sp dot sin x now we want to define we want to do the integration with respect to x and our limits are a and b so now you, let's see how it does it you see cos a minus cos b this is the integration of this with respect to a and b furthermore we can solve any kind of integration i mean the, from the simple to the complicated this software python can do it for you and later on you can develop the software for this 
yes now this was the simple integration that we were supposed to do now for example if something tends to infinity in the integration you want to do and it should tends to infinity how you are going to do that so you have to define here at 0 and then you are defining as a sum by double zero o o which is the symbol of infinity here again this has to be sp sp and you run it and uh, you have to write in both sum by sp So yeah, because this symbol is not defined. We defined A, we defined B, we defined X, we defined Y, but we didn't define the, the symbol. So let's define the symbol. Remember this S has to be capital. There you go. It has defined it. Yes, so now after you define the symbol as infinity, you see x from 0 to infinity, the answer is pi by 2. This is showing this infinity here. So pi by uh, this under root pi by 2. And now, for example, you have an equation. You want to do sin x and dot cos i so see how it is doing it it's not different sp is defined so now you see sin x cos x dx this is the integration of this one so that's how you can do the integration here yes so so far what we have done we have done the integration uh, with respect to only x now, for example, if we have multi variables x and y, how we are going to solve and do the integration? So let's see how we can do that. Imagine that we uh, we have an expression again, sim pi is not defined s p is defined s s p dot sign x this and multiply by s p dot expression y. So we have x sign x and sign y. So let's see how we can define the sin x to this one so we integrate this one and see how we integrate now we have two variables x and y so you want to integrate in terms of expression in terms of x you want to integrate with respect to x so we integrate it Sorry, not complete. There you see now. So now we integrated uh, sine bracket x power uh, x multiplied by exponential y and we solve it. And this is the integration of this, this one. Let's say we have another expression which is the x plus y and we want to integrate with respect to x so we did it x plus y all square and this is the outcome of this integration here so far we have learned the derivation and we have learned the integration now we will learn how to do the series how we can solve the series here so let's look at it how we can do the series here Okay. In order to do the series again, uh, import simpy as sp, you have to define symbols x is equal to sp dot symbol x. You have to define the symbols as we defined before. This is y, this is v, e, y. After you define the symbol, you have to define the function as you defined it here. This is f is equal to f of x. After you define the functions, 
So you can use the sp.series f pro x. Now you run it. Here you can see. This is the series that we have tailored series which is we can solve and so on. So now this is just a simple basic series and now whatever you have equation you have it can solve for you. So let's look ahead and solve some of the examples related to this one. Let's look at the series of cos x. So we run it like this and now you see this is the cos x series which you can get it like this. For the sx sin x series you can get the series of sin x like this. So this is for the cos x, this is for the sin x and it's for example we have this 1 over 1 plus x and we want to find its series so we just write it and dot series and double bracket and you get 1 minus x square plus and that's how you can get your series here. So now let's look ahead for further now let's assume that we have this series which is the cos x uh, divided by 1 plus sin x multi x y. So we have this series and we want to expand this series. So how we can do that? Expression for series. We want and how many terms of series you want? You want I mean, n is equal to how many? 3, 4, 5, 6 terms. So let's say 4 terms. So you have to write it here. So now you can get here this 1, 2, 3, and 4 terms. After 1 minus, this is the second, first, second, third, fourth. Now that's why you can use the Taylor series and so on. This is these all of all of them are very important in mathematics, whether you want to find the volume, area, and so on. So this integration derivation is going to help you a lot in simulation. In, in developing your softwares okay now so far we have uh, solved the basic ex simplification of the equations then we have done some derivation then we did some integration then we did some series examples and now we are going to see how we can solve the limits in the in this uh, python so for the limit there is a command for sp uh, simpy dot limit and then we will see how we can use that Okay, finally in this lecture we will see how we can solve the expressions. For example, we have this expression. So what is the value of x by f? So this we can solve it. So actually this we can solve it. So sp dot solve this one and we run it. Sorry, sp we don't sp. Here is the minus the limit. So any equation that you want to solve for the value of x and y, you can solve it here using sp.solve so this is the simple basic calculation uh, basic calculus that you have learned in class 12 and in university cal 1 cal 2 and cal 3 you can easily solve it and you can even develop your own softwares here web based or software based software you have developed now we end up the our lecture here in, uh, in but this is this needs to be practiced a lot all of it the lecture 1 2 3 so on and now in the next, next lecture, I will teach you how you can import and set up the libraries in Python. For example, there is an external library somebody else has developed, how you can use it. And for coding and programming, for example, sometimes you face problems. So how you can take the help from the internet? Which websites are important to take the help to in the Python? And after this, this uh, coming lecture, I will give you some examples to solve, to see the level. And these examples will be beyond what we did in the lecture. And uh, you try to solve on your own because it will help you to solve anything in the Python actually in, uh, later on. But if you cannot solve, then wait for my solution because I will upload the solutions also at the same time. So see you next time in this uh, lecture.